Well, hello, and welcome back to some more Rune Factory. We only need one more yellow core, and then we'll be all good for all the yellows, now. at least. Because as far as I'm aware, we still just need the five. No. There we go. All, all right. I'm not done yet. Eh. Come on. Okay, so the lightning still hurts, but the monsters don't. Is that how you want to do that? Okay, so... Regardless, I had quite the... Ow, quite the weekend trip. Uh, both these past weekends, actually. Much... Yeah, so much so to the point where I... Not necessarily hurting on funds, don't actually have to dip into my savings, so I didn't spend as much as I was. Seriously? I didn't spend as much as I was worried that I was going to, but I did spend more Kino than I, I thought that I would. To see you. Fortunately, though, I've been keeping up a budget and everything is fine, as long as I don't spend anything at all this week. Then the next two weeks I'll have to clump both of them together if I want to buy stuff like groceries. Fortunately, I have like four or five big old bags of frozen corn in the freezer and that's fine. As well as having still like a big Tupperware full of frozen pork that I put in the fridge last night. So, uh, you know, de-thaw as I for some reason want to call it. So I don't necessarily have to buy anything for a good little while, so I think next week I'll, I might go and get some groceries. I like whatever and everything will be fine. Uh, yes, I got all sorts of stuff and I kind of wish that I did have a video component to this just so I could... Wait, no. Just so I could show off what I've been getting because it's a lot of fun stuff. Not, a, not, of course, a ton of stuff, but still some things. Because the, uh, the Comic-Con, the Comic Expo was fun. I think I need to toss in, you know, one of these feathers. Other than that, it's all good. Looking sad. Oh no, I have the green core. What do I still need? Hi, cinnamon. Okay, okay. So I have blue core, yellow core, red core, green core. No, I have them all. I need another red core is what I need. But other than that, it's all well and good, and I can just throw one of each of these on a thing and see what that does. Alright, so I still need at least one more red cord. I thought I'd be about it. Um, been playing some Commander lately. I've been uh, I've been getting into the habit of a schedule. Wake up, do my upkeep, do at least three episodes worth of recordings, and then I have like the rest of the day to do what I want. You know, clean up the place, play some Commander games, do some other recordings even. I can upgrade this with all of the cores. That should be really good. So 
so green core, red core, a lot of magic defense, wow, yellow core, and blue core. Hey! No resist! 10%. So fortunately it's not put on the right that I have uh, no resist, but I do have 10% no resist. So if I just, uh, so I have to make my own shield when I trap. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, shoes, okay. So I have all of the cores I need other than one red core. So let's, work on making the footwear that makes you run fast. Actually, you know what? Let's start making all of the footwears. Cheap cheap sandals and I have secret shoes and that's it. Silver boots. So I need silver and shards. Silver and what is a shard? That's a crystal, those are feathers, strings, these are shards. Those are shards, that's a shard. These are shards. Alright, silver, iron, and a... And a pretty carapace, so... Do I have a pretty carapace? I have an insect carapace. Oh, is this pretty? That's a pretty carapace. That is a very pretty carapace, isn't it? Nine-tailed fox bell. I have a nine-tailed fox bell. I should have some. Nine-tailed fox bell. Cloths and skins and strings. Okay. Sneaking boots, and then two golds and a shard. I only have two golds. I'm gonna probably need more golds. Two golds and a shard. Strong vine, big crystal, shells and bones. So strong vine. I need strong vine. That's what I need here. Okay, where do I get strong vine? Also, where do I get more gold? Flower lion, flower blossom, flower crystal. Literally only used for bone boots. So, flower blossom. Okay, then. Well, I know where to find a couple of these. Yes, hello, Cinnamon. I love you, too. Yes, baby, I do. Hug, hug, pet, pet. Give the kitty what it wants. Meow, 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 meow. Yes, Cinnamon. Cinnamon missed me a lot when I went out on my little trip. Yeah, came back and he was in full snuggle mood. Hey, cool. Pretty campus. Hi, 
by Cinnamon. Nice. All right. Oh look, an invisible chest. Yes. Okay. I think that there are some of these related things here, right? So let's go to the grassland. Nom, 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 nom. Kitty, 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 Oh, cool, I knew one. Right. Are these things even in here? Hold on a second. Kelv lava caves in the Kelv volcanic region. Oh. I was trying to hit a different button, but okay. But yeah. Uh, it was kind of unfortunate, though, because I was kind of sick the whole trip. Um, well, not the whole trip. I was sick for, like, the beginning of the trip. Uh, if you saw my video last week, which, hey, somebody actually uh, left a message uh, to say that they hoped that I'd start feeling better and it turns out I am feeling better so that's good actually I wonder in the interest of food it'd be worth I got a bunch of like subway coupons in a couple weeks ago and I don't know when they expire and I so I want to get some subway but also I know I just said that I don't have money for things Boom, boom. All right. Regular vines, plant nice. stems, regular vines. Are vines and strong vines the same thing? No, they are not. They are actually two different things. Well, okay then. Okay, that still doesn't look like gold up here, so... Now you've done it. I mean, I don't know what this to talk about since I'm not doing this recording, like... <coughs> immediately, uh... Yeah, I didn't take notes about the event. It's... It was an event. It was nice. It was fun. It was nice. That's all there really is about it, right? It was a lot, a lot, a lot of walking through, um... Yeah, there was a lot of walking around through the vendor hall and just seeing everything that that had to offer. 
which is quite a bit of stuff. There's some interesting things there, but a lot of stuff was so expensive. There's like this one vendor that had like old school D and D books, like an advanced D and D books. All right. So that was pretty All neat. Right. But okay, yeah, go. and yeah. So there's like, you know, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons books, but also some like 3-5 edition books. And I was tempted to get like the, was it the Draconomicon? <laughs> Except I think that was being sold for like $60, which Thanks seems like lift, a huh? little <laughs> bit much. If it was like 20 I would have totally gotten it. But like $60 for the Draconomicon. A bit much oh, considering yeah. that I don't tend to really use so much physical books when I do play D&D, and I also don't really play much D&D anymore anyway. I was tempted to get a second, like, 3-5 edition uh, player's handbook, just because something like that is useful to have when you're actually playing around a table. You can just go, like, here, borrow this book, this hat. It's like, because that's actually useful for the players and all that, so I was very much tempted to just get another one but I wound up not doing it um, the first day and then, then when I came back the second day it wasn't there anymore so I'm guessing somebody else had bought it yeah. so it's like whatever snooze you lose someone else is enjoying it actually there was that and I think a third edition handbook and I think they were both out by the second day it's like, hey, if you, there are some, like, good gems in there, but if you don't get them, like, right away, like, that's it. Like, if you don't get the, uh, fancy stuff right away, someone else will get it. As evidenced by how there was, um, there are, like, random loot bags for sale on one of the stalls right near the entrance. Actually, a couple of stalls had the same loot bags. And they had, like, these laminated cards of, like, what different animes that they had the loot bags for. And one of them was, uh, that time I got reincarnated as a slime, which I have been watching lately with Azura. So I was all like, oh, hey, this is cool. I'll, I totally want to get one of those, get some little slime stuff. That'd be fun. So I asked the person, it's like, hey, do you have any of the slime bags? And it's like, oh, no, already sold out. Like, we got there, like, supposedly before the event was meant to open on the Friday. Like, we had to make sure to get there extra early. And yet it was already all sold out. So either the slime is excessively popular, considering it's a show that came out a good little while ago by now. Or, like, yeah. So either it's just that excessively popular, or they just didn't bring any. So what do I even get from this? Battle Scythe, Orca Swords. Okay, okay. But yeah, I wound up getting a Sword Art Online bag on one day, and the next day I got a Legend of Zelda bag. Because it turns out that there was still one, just wasn't in like actual Legend of Zelda bag style, but it was still supposed to be a Legend of Zelda bag. They had a whole bunch of generic anime bags, and they used one of those, and they just put, like, a laminated thing on it. It's like, yep, yeah, nope, this is Legend of Zelda, right? And it was, like, their last one. So I snatched it up. Because, hey, Legend of Zelda's cool. And people love to, you know, say that, like, say bad stuff about Sora Online. 
But it's not like it's bad. Like, SAO isn't like, you know, super bad. It is very popular for a reason. People do enjoy it. I've enjoyed it. It's nice. It's a funny anime. So yeah, I got some SAO stuff. Oh yeah! Also, I found out that apparently people will pay for short stories and whatnot. So I've joined a few discords to see about that. So that's something to look into. It's just, uh, through my free time, do a bit of writing. Maybe get some inspiration to continue writing my own stories, but also just do Let's random go. short stories here and there. Nice. And see about submitting them to get nice. paid. Like a thousand word short story. It could be like 60 bucks or oh, something. Great. Which would be like, hey, that's pretty yeah. cool. Take that. All right. yeah. Like I could write a 2,000... I could write 2,000 words in, like, an hour, so... That's a pretty decent rate of writing. Write a little short story. Yeah, write a little short story in a couple of hours, get paid a couple hundred bucks. Do that maybe once a week. Heck, if I just, you know, start writing more stories on my phone, even, whenever I have, like, free time on there, just... Burp, 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 burp. And just like, oh, hey, you need a short story? What genre do you need? What kind of stuff do you want? Boom, boom, boom. How is this? Do Sign little contract, whatever. And it's just, boom, here's another short story. Here you go. And it's like, yeah, that would be pretty easy to do, right? Up we go. All right, it there. is this way. Oh, right. Thanks. Yes. Yes. Nice. I just want to get. I think I only need like one strong vine. It's the most ridiculous part. I'm just like not getting it. Oh yeah, I've been having a lot of fun lately playing my uh, Super Planeswalker Commander deck. I got the rest of the cards for it in the mail. Uh, pick those up like the day I got back from this past weekend trip. So on Monday, had a thing in the notice like, "Hey, you can pick them up today." So I went and I picked them up. So I've been playing that for a couple of days, and it is a lot of fun. The yeah, the entire playstyle of the deck is, I will get um, yeah, just sit in the background, try to you know downplay what I'm doing oh, right. and then alt one planeswalker if there's like 20 planeswalkers on the deck where if I can alt them I can help set up for a win I think there are 20 or 30 planeswalkers all I have to do is alt them and I can nice. either win immediately or I can set up for a win and like a whole bunch of like support pieces And that's literally the entire deck. Just... If I'm playing two to three Planeswalkers a turn, a lot of which are, you know, making extra creatures that I can also block with, it's hard for people to, you know, start destroying them. The two big issues I have to deal with, though, are Trample and Flying. Because out of the entirety of 
uh, Magic the Gathering, there's like 10 planeswalkers that can make a flying blocker the turn that they go into play. And I'm playing, I think, at least six of them, probably more like eight or nine of them. Cause it's, but I mean, if, I, if I'm playing like eight of those out of like 67 total planeswalkers, 66 in the deck, whatever, that's very little odds that I'll actually, you know, get it and be able to play it before someone playing Bird Tribal just goes, Yeah, I play, yeah, turn one, I play one mana for this one one bird. Swing planeswalker, swing planeswalker, swing planeswalker, like. Just knock down planeswalkers by like five every single turn. So if they start killing off my planeswalkers, I don't really have much I can do about it. Hey, puppy's using love energy. What else about the convention, anyway? Went to some panels, some of them were okay, some of them were poor. Oh, that's right, made up a new reference. Uh... Yes, see, here's the question. Do I talk about the reference and let everyone in on what it is? Yes, yeah, good. Let's let everyone in on it. Uh, one of the panels that I was in was a using Come food and soon. fashion as like story building elements when, you know, writing a story. So you might have like, you know, story and it takes place in like a little village by a forest and it's like, okay, well, are there animals in the forest? Do people hunt the animals? Is like, how is hunting maintained? Is it just like a couple of people in the community go to hunt or is it everybody hunts for their own food? Do they need a license to hunt? And that's why only some of them hunt. Do they just not hunt for animals and they're all vegetarians? What kind of, uh, you know, fruits and vegetables grow there? Like, how does the eating happen? Is it, again, like, a couple of people go out and hunt like once a week or something and then everybody gets food or some people get food or is it like okay well only the rich people can get the meat but everybody can get like vegetables is it everybody has their own little garden and they grow their own stuff that they eat for themselves or do they all like say have a garden grow their own food and share it among the people so like someone might grow tomatoes someone might grow potatoes and then they nice. split them like between themselves so does everyone just go a little bit to everything or it's like but also if there is animals around and the people there aren't all like strictly vegetarian for whatever reasons there are still going to be poachers people who will just you know hunt down animals anyway and it's like oh well if you're writing you know fantasy you might think about it's like okay well uh, what about if people, you know, hunt down, I don't know, a chupacabra or something? Would they eat that if people... It's like, oh yeah, what about, like, say, unicorns or, like, pegasi or... Say, it's like, oh, well, maybe there's owl bears and people go and hunt down an owl bear every once in a while and they'll all, like, to get together and eat huh? it or... Stuff like that and... There's, like, you know chatter back and forth somewhat between all of this and so I suggest like okay well I mean it's like well I two things to suggest one potent the potential for cannibalism just being a part of culture like maybe they are part of a culture where they can like you know as people get old the younger people just chop them up and eat them and that's just a part of their culture that could very well be a thing or it could be a fantasy world where magic is not advanced enough to create food but it is advanced enough to regrow lost limbs so it could just be a common part of culture that say chop off a person's arm regrow it with magic everyone eats our meat for dinner right? and that could just be part of a culture if it's you know linked up with magic but also what's to stop people say from just hunting down a hydra, tying it all down, and just chopping off the head over and over again. 
just chop off the head, eat it. And the head regrows, because that's what hydras do. And the person leading the panel right. uh, posed the hypothetical of what Hydra tongue might I taste like. Being kept in suspense. Which is potentially an interesting thing to consider. Because we had been talking about uh, cow's tongue earlier and like pickled cow's tongue is apparently really good but boiled cow's tongue absolutely sucks. It's like, oh yeah, pickled Hydra tongue could be good. And, like, of course, a Hydra is regenerate. Like, that could just be part of, like, a village. Like, potentially out in the middle of nowhere. And, like, that is their main source of food. Sure, they might grow some vegetables here and there. But their main source of food could very well just be keep a Hydra captive. And just keep chopping off its heads over and over again. And just eating that. And it's like, okay, well... It's like, what's to keep people from doing that? Or do people just do that? Like, every fantasy world is like a little bit different, right? And so thus started the reference of, uh, imagine the Hydra. Just having a conversation with up. Imagine the Hydra, or stuff related to that. Uh, and so uh, at the end of the panel, the person was talking about, like, fashion, doing a quick overview on, like, fashion, like, Victorian England. People would never really throw out fabric. They'd always just keep using it and keep using and keep using it until it is, like, completely worn away. And then, and even then, still probably use it for, like, stuffing. But wouldn't actually just throw it out because it was expensive and all that. And so I'm posing the question of, like, okay, but, like, say in a sci-fi world, what kind of fabric would, like, a poor person be able to get their hands on. And I know they said sci-fi, not fantasy, but I still posited the uh, hypothetical of Hydra leather. Because again, chop off the head, eat the meat, and turn the scalesy part, the leathery part, into clothing. So, yeah, now imagine the Hydra. Just imagine the Hydra. Either that or just Hydra Tongue. Just using a Hydra and just eating it. Yum, yum, yum. Is that a strong vine? Nope, just a vine. Plant stem, not a strong vine. It's 3 a.m. Do you know where your strong vines are? So yeah, uh, event was fun. Lots of stuff to go out and buy. I played some uh, code names with some random people that I found. Got a new super fight game. Like, you know, it, it was an event. 
the vendor hall was... I mean, yeah, sure, the vendor hall was big, but... Kian and I right. were able to walk through the entire place in, like, under two hours. While making sure to, like, circle back constantly to make sure to get every single uh, stall. We still went through the entire place. Like, decently fast. So it would have been nice if there was more of a vendor hall, and it also would have been nice if the vendor hall prices were cheaper. There's something I'd like to tell you. But like, some of the stuff is like handmade things, and some of the stuff is like specialty made things. Like, I got a little 3D printed dragon. That's not just like one, a little dragon figurine. It's like a whole bunch of little parts that are all like put together. So it's like those old block toys, if you know what I'm talking about. But like 3D printed out of something that almost feels like metal. I'm not sure what the material actually is. It almost feels like metal. Not quite. It looks like metal because it's uh, colored gray. But yeah, it's just a cute little dragon. It's like 15 dollars 15 20 dollars or something for this little thing it's like yes that's the kind of thing that like you go to a convention and then you buy something like that it's not like you know a 60 dollar thing that you have particularly have to like it's a little 20 dollar thing it's kind of durable so don't necessarily have to worry about it you know breaking your part just by picking it up uh imperfectly nice Just a cute little thing. I'm not done yet. No. Like, whatever. And it would have been nice if there was more stuff around. I still have that uh, Aeon Zen Legacy game to be played at some point. Who knows, maybe one of these days I'll get around to it. Oh, is that a strong vine? Nope, no strong vines. I await whatever the day may bring. So it can stop bo drop both vine and strong vine. Yeah, there's no like save here point out here, huh? I'm not done yet. All right. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. All right. What was I doing again?
Wait, if I get a flower crystal, it can just drop a strong vine. So maybe I should just recruit one of those. Nice. But it's like no point in getting a whole monster just for literally one, right? Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. All right. Yeah, just a simple little yeah. matter of dealing with all of those and... Okay, okay. Sure, let's go to the crystal caverns and do the stuff here. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Yeah, I don't really have all that much to talk about. And then, of course, on the way back, there's that drama that happened. Whatever. Oh, gosh. Uh, yeah, the first day, I was, like, you know, not feeling so well. Just kind of, like, trying to stay away from people. Blow my nose and, like, immediately sanitize up. And it's, like, just trying to like you know not spread my germs and all that and then second day is like oh yeah that's right I have a mask I can just wear this everything was fine and then third day I was like not really sick anymore so I finally got to do the things there's this one person who had like a giant like tray of dice like a big old bin of dice and for ten dollars, you get this little bag, and fill it up with as many dice as you could manage. Just absolutely load it with dice. As much as you can get to fit in there, and as long as you can like tug the drawstrings closed without any dice falling out, you get to keep them all. If the dice fall out, then you don't get those ones. That was the rule. So I round up. Still so much to learn. Yeah, sure, fine. 
And so, like, I was there, you know, putting in a couple sets of, like, pretty pink dice and all that. And someone comes up. It's like, oh, yeah, what's the record? It's like, oh, yeah, like, 31. Like, 31, 32, whatever. It was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to try to beat that. And, like, so I was, like, putting in all these, a whole bunch of dice left and right and all over the place. And it's like, all right, I mean, I get some extra dice in here. It's like, my, we're going to pack the bag. Let's really pack the bag, you know? Let's do this. Ready to go? And it's like we finish up and she counts up her dice. She's like 29. She's like so close to the record, but like literally the bag was overflowing. Like could not fit in anymore. I got 35. <laughs> I managed 35 dice in my little bag there. So they didn't all necessarily stay in there over the course of like transport, but I got 35 dice in there and I pulled the drawstring and they weren't popping back out. So yeah. It's like $10 for like 35 dice. That's a pretty good margin on dice, especially if you get to like pick them out yourself. Plant stem. Whoopsies. So yeah, you look happy. I'd have to go and grab all of the stuff that I got to uh, really see everything. To see all the stuff that I got, but... Oh yeah, also got like a book. For whatever, probably not actually gonna read it, cause... Yeah. But yeah, all in all, as far as conventions go that was just like a so so iffy whatever sort of deal nothing really amazing happened like if i had decided to just like stay home and not go i probably it like would have been fine sure i would have regretted not going and that's why i chose ultimately to go anyway and fortunately, I didn't have to help pay for the Airbnb because, gosh, go? no. But just, uh, gosh, with the way that things have been, I'm kind of really debating on if I do want to wind up living with Azura. I don't think that I really should just because why go and live with someone I don't really know all that well. That's kind of yeah. And I'm sure living together will be different but it's like, hey Azura, I'm only here for this week. And it's like, oh, you're here now? Okay, well, I'm just gonna go play this game and let's not do anything together in all weekend. Like, finally go to do something together. It's going out to get her dinner while she's complaining about not having money. So she's driving out to uh, get fast food. Because she doesn't have money. All right. Just a woot. Strong vine! Woohoo! Alright, let's go back home and let's make those boots. Watch, 
we get it like another strong thought. It works. What did I just say? Watch me get another strong vine. That's what I said. Okay, boots, boots, boots. Okay, so I need strong vine. I need a big crystal and shells and bones. I don't even know if I have a big crystal. What does the big crystal look like? Is it this thing that I happen to be paused on? Is it right here? Okay, shells and bones. Okay, got a lot of big crystals, but where's the shells and bones? Fish fossil, skull, dragon bones, and ammonite. Fish fossil. So this should be it. Bone boots! Alright. Strider boots. Pretty thread, platinum gold. Okay, I need more gold. I might also need pretty thread. If I don't already have this, pretty thread. I have pretty thread, but I need gold. Thundering waste and the force of no return. Okay. Okay, yawn, stretch, yawn. Okay, let's go. Don't really need to do this boss fight. I've already done this boss fight today. Good Lord. Okay, how many more things in just the footwear category are gonna need gold? Apparently this is it. Literally just the gold boots and the strider boots is all the boots that need gold. Uh, I think I needed the red, didn't I? So yeah, grab some strider boots. Pretty thread, platinum, gold, floss, and skins. Cool.
Faith red. Platinum gold. And then cloths and skins. Strider boots. Warrior's proof razor fang. I might have a razor fang, but I don't have a warrior's proof. Okay, dropped by a goblin viking. Which one? It's in Seed Floating Fortress. Somewhere. Somewhere in Seed Floating Fortress. Poops do I even need? One, two, three, four, five. I need like six. Wow. Plus one for shipping. Seven. Might be best to sleep. Might also be best to just end the episode for the next time. Okay, enemy loot table. Goblin Viking. Yeah. Gonna end it off here. Going to save and prepare to sleep and... Maybe next time we'll continue this. Maybe next time we'll go into something completely different. But for now, we do have 10% no resistance. You know what? Let's, uh, let's throw some stuff into uh, shipping here real quick. Let's just uh, toss a few things here and there. Black scale, not shipped. Okay. At some point, I'm going to want to go to the Friday store and just buy all of the various things that I need for creating everything that I'll need to make. Just have a big old list of everything that still needs to be made and all of the ingredients for it and boom, 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 boom. But until then... I'll save here and I'll end the episode. So yeah, ship went well, but nothing insane. Toodles.